Welcome back to my channel. Let's solve this together. Today we are asked to solve for m if 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m equals 65. All right. Um, this is the first thing we need to do. Solution. The first thing we need to do is let's raise um, each of these to the power of 2 over 2. Yeah, I know it will sound somehow, but you are going to see why we are doing that. 3m raised to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2m raised to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. All right. Um, we all know that a to the power of m raised to the power of n using law of indices. Is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. Okay? Yes. The same thing as a to the power of m times n. That means that the position of m and n can be interchanged. Right? That means you can write a to the power of n raised to the power of m. All right. So let's go to this. That will show you that we can actually manipulate this side anyhow we want. As long as we are going to get the same thing. So we can now write this as 3... To the power of m over 2. Let me bring this two in. Then let me square this. Because if you still use this to multiply this, you are going to get the same thing. So I have not really changed anything. Minus 2 to the power of... We are going to do the same thing here. Squared. Is equal to 65. Alright. If you look at this, notice that we have difference of 2 squares. Yes, difference of 2 squares. And this is what difference of two squares says. It says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b bracket a plus b. Okay? Now, in this case, this is our a and this is our b. Right? So, let's do that. Let a equals... 3 to the power of m over 2. That is the first number here. 3 to the power of m over 2. Then b equals 2 to the power of m over 2. All right. Now, we can now substitute a and b into this equation. All right? So, we can now say that a squared minus b squared is equal to 65. Okay, so what do we do next? That means that we can confidently say that A minus B into A plus B is equal to 65. Okay, we have two factors here. Let's split this into two as well, all right? Now, when we divide this 65 by 5, if we should divide 65 by 5, we have um, 1, 1 remainder, 1, we we'll have 13. So that means that 5 times 13 is equal to 65. So let's represent 65 as that. So we have A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 5 times 13. Okay, let's continue. Now when you look at this, when you look at this, you know that a plus b must be greater than a minus b. That means that a minus b should be equal to the smaller number, while a plus b should be equal to 13. Okay, if you have watched to this level, that means that you are actually enjoying what you are seeing. And I think this is time for you to click on that subscription button. And don't forget to on your notification bell. Then most importantly, please comment. Let me know what you feel about what I'm doing. And if you have a shorter way of solving this, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section. I will appreciate that. Thank you so much. So let's continue. That means that A minus B is equal to what? 5. Now let's call this equation 1. Remember that we are not looking for A. Neither are we looking for B. Rather, we are looking for M. But this is a way that we will follow to get our M. Okay? So, excuse me. We can now say also that A plus B is equal to 13. A plus B 
is equal to 13. And this is what? Equation 2. All right. Now, let's continue. This is what? A simultaneous equation. Now, we have A minus B equals 5 and A plus B equals 13. We can actually subtract equation 2 from equation 1. And we are going to get something, okay? All right, let's do that. So if we say 1 minus 2, that is equation 1 minus equation 2, then we are going to have A minus A. We give us 0, right? So we are going to ignore that. Minus B minus plus B is same thing as minus B minus B, which is what? Minus 2B, right? So remember that we are subtracting. So, minus B minus plus B is minus B minus B, which is minus 2B. So, we have minus 2B, okay, is equal to 5 minus 13, we give us minus 8. So, if we should divide both sides by minus 2, minus 2, we cancel minus 2. We will have that B is equal to negative, we cancel negative, right? Then 2, we divide 8 to give us 4. So that means that our B is equal to 4. Okay. Well, let's keep that aside. Our B is equal to 4. We are going to get back to that. So let's call this equation 3. B is equal to 4. Okay. Now, you know how we solve simultaneous equation. When you have gotten a solution for one of the variables, you now substitute what you got into any of this equation to get the other variable. Okay, we have gotten the value of our B. So let's substitute B equal to 4 into equation 1. You can still substitute into equation 2. It will give you the same thing. So if we do that, we will have that A minus 4, that is 4, B is 4, is equal to 5. Now, if we add 4 to both sides of the equation, because we want A to be on its own, right? So we have A minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 4. So minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So we have that A is equal to 9. So we have found the value of B and the value of A. But recall, recall, look at this. Recall that our A is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. I would like you to stick to the end of this video because we are going to check, and that is, we are going to put the values that we got for m to see if we actually correct. We are going to prove the solution at the end. All right, so permit me to clean this side of the board so that we can continue. So let me also clean here. I have my reason. Let's just leave the most important equation here, which is this. Okay, all right. Now we have that a equals 3 to the power of m over 2. Now we got our a to be equal to 9. So we can now say that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. Now using law of indices, you know that the best way you can solve any exponential is if you are able to put the both numbers in the same base. So let's put this in base 3 as well. So we have that 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. All right. Since the base are equal, then the powers are equal as well. So we can now say that 2 is equal to m over 2. Okay. So if we cross multiply, m times 1 will give us m is equal to... 2 times 2 will give us 4. So we have found the value of m using what a? Now let's use b as well. Recall that b is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. Now what did we get as our b? 4. Alright? So we now have 4 is 2 to the power of m over 2. Similarly, just like what we did here, we are going to do what? Make this 4. Well, let's put it in base 2. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. 
Okay, the base are equal, so we can now equate the powers. We can now write that 2 is equal to m over 2. If we cross multiply, we have that m times 1 will give us m is equal to 2 times 2 will give us 4. So notice that we are still going to get the same 4. Now, let's check the result. If actually m is equal to 4. Now, the question says that... um. This is what the question says. That 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. Okay. So we said that m is equal to 4, right? So we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 65. Now 3 to the power of 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you do that, you are going to get 81. So this is 81 minus, same for 2. 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. Is equal to 65. Now, is this actually equal to 65? Let's see. 11 minus 6 will give us 5. 7 minus 1 will give us 6. So 6 to 5 is equal to 6 to 5. That means that our solution is what? Right. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a great day. Bye.